So there it is. We'll grab a new page here. Um, it's helpful on these pages to have a Venn diagram, so we'll throw one of those in. Um, let me go like this. There's my Venn diagram. And now we'll take a picture of this information. Okay. So. I really hate this stuff. Okay. Let's make that a little bigger. It says A and B are independent. So once again, we have A and B. They are independent. And A occurs with a probability of 5%. So P of A is 0 0.05. P of B is 0.46. And without any trouble, we can quickly compute intersection, which would be point, um, what's that going to be? Add a zero, cut it in half, 20, but I got to put a point zero two three, I think. Okay. Anyways, so, so that's our intersection. And you can subtract if you want to figure out the other parts. So this would be 0 0.05 minus 0 0.023. This is 0 0.023. This is 0.46 minus 0 0.023. Okay. Now, they want us to compute the probability that A does not occur or B does not occur. So they want A does not or B does not. Okay. Or both. So how am I going to do that? Well, first I need to figure out... Um, shall I show you a trick here? Yeah, I'll tell you a little rule. It says, this is um, one of De Morgan's theorems. It uh, says that the union of the complements is equivalent to the uh, intersection. No is equivalent to the complement of the intersection. So basically, this is a union of complements, so it's equal to the complement of the intersection. Okay, so that's a handy shortcut, because it's very easy to find A uh, intersect B, and then if we found it like we did right here to find P of A intersect B complement we just minus that from 1 so super easy now to prove that is a little more involved to prove that A intersect or A complement um, sorry A complement union B complement equals uh, A intersect B complement. That's a little involved, but I'll do it. Ready? This is A. So, that's A complement. So let me do that. That's A complement. Alright. This is B. So B complement is everything else, right? Now if we unite these two things, everything will be shaded in except the middle biscuit. So A complement united with B complement will look like everything will be shaded in except for that biscuit in the middle. Okay? Well, if you think about the biscuit in the middle, 
Isn't the biscuit in the middle A intersect B? And if that's A intersect B, isn't its opposite? Isn't its complement that right there? So there you have it, okay? Um, they want us to unite the complement of A and the complement of B. Well, that's the same thing as A intersect B complement. And I'll give you one more shortcut. If it's true that the union of the complements is equivalent to the complement of the intersection, then it's also true, let me think if I can think of it, um, let's go A complement intersect B complement is equal to A union B complement. We saw this way back in the first or one of the earlier videos. Um, this right here, both of these represent the region outside the butt print. Okay, easy to see from this one, right? Because the bunt print is A union B, so the region outside is its complement. Um, but that's also equivalent to this, and I said that in the first video, or one of the earlier videos. So a way of writing that is the intersection of the complements I'll just put the complements, sorry about my handwriting, is equivalent to the complement of the union. And you can look those up online. They're De Morgan's, De Morgan's laws for uh, sets. Okay. He also has laws for logic, which follow uh, and are very similar to these. They're actually equivalent to these. Um, so makes this problem very easy. Um, so our answer is point zero. No, point nine. Seven, seven. Okay. Whew. So that's the first one. <laughs> that's only the first one. Let's write that in. Point nine seven seven. Where's my pen? Point nine seven seven. And then we got to do the other one, which is compute the probability that B occurs without A occurring or A and B both occur. Alright, this is basically asking what's the probability that B occurs with or without A? With or yeah, with A or without A? And that's just B. We talked about that in another video. So the answer is 0.46. Um, I can show that to you really quickly. Um, yeah, I can do it up here. If I can find my pen and scroll up, there we go. Okay, so they want to know the probability that um, B occurs. Jeez, give me this. That B occurs without A. Well, where does B occur without A? In region 3. So, this is B occurring without A, this region here. And then they ask, where does B occur um, with A, where they both occur? Well, that's this region over here. And because it's a OR, we unite them. And what do we get back? We get back B. So the answer is what was B? 0.46. Super easy. OK. We talked about that in another video as well. So that's it. We're done. I'm going to stop it. Oh, shoot, so long.